Hey guys, what's up? My name is Manik Madan and I have a 260 on the USMLE Step 1 and I just gave my USMLE Step 2 CK on March 12th, 2021. And I have to tell you, this exam is so much tougher compared to Step 1. People have this perception that, hey, Step 1 is that big exam uh, that is so tough. But Step 2 is even tougher compared to Step 1. I would say twice or thrice as tougher as Step step one because the question stems complexity everything is so 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 high compared to step one so when i just went into the exam like and the exam started at about 8 a.m it was just nine hours of faith like the, the the first block was okay it was pretty good the second block was good the third block was when i had to guess guess like literally guess about 10 to 12 questions that I remember. And then like a lot of other blocks were okay. They were not as good as my first and the second block, but they were, they were again, they were tougher compared to the first and second blocks of the exam. And as I reached like the last block, again, I was guessing so much. Like I remember I guessed a lot on my fifth block. I think again, I was guessing about 12 to 14 options in that and a lot of guessing i think in the rest of the blocks i had to guess about at least five questions per block and <laughs> that was a lot because when you do step one there's not much of that guessing it's it's a very easy exam you can kind of find a way to eliminate through things in step two the two answer choices they are so so close together sometimes that it's very very hard to even eliminate and you have to like make your best possible guess there and just move on so it's a very heartbreaking exam because as you go through it it's like your faith is breaking your faith is getting destroyed but you have to hold on to your faith faith for nine hours and just like till you reach the end of the last block you can't give up you can't like cry you can't you can't think about stuff what happen things that happen you just have to just solve the question that you didn't know the answer to properly that you guessed to and just move on that's what step two teaches you is just to move on i think yeah second thing that i found out in step two ck was how vague the exam was like Again, like I told before, there were a lot of questions when where the where like you could eliminate through a lot of answer choices, but you were stuck between at least two to three answers that were so so close to each other. And I found out this to be specifically the case with ethics, and uh, ethics and patient care questions. Like you, I always got stuck between the last two or last three options, and I had to again make my best possible guess, which was horrible because I don't usually do that. I I find ways to rule out things and just come to the answer, but here, step two <laughs> is not the case. <laughs> Always, yeah. And the third thing I found out in step two, like how big the question stem length is. In step one, like questions are like four or five lines right they're not that big when you do step one for step two ck the questions are like eight or nine lines long and they're so so big compared to step one that you have to in a way be a very fast reader so you need to know kind of a bit of speed reading you need to know a bit of skimming because if you don't you're gonna miss the exam and i had this problem beforehand like when i was starting my step two prep you were questions tend, tended to be like so long that I would end up with eight questions in the end and the block would end and I, I couldn't finish those eight questions. And so I had to find out read speed reading books, go through like skimming, uh, uh, read uh, speed reading books. And that taught me how to skim through questions and just look at the important data. And there are a lot of things you can do. Just go and search some speed reading book on Google or tips for speed reading and make sure you're very time efficient with uh, with uh, questions for step two because they are very long. I thought they were even longer than you were. And the complexity was a bit more and the vagueness was a bit more. And uh, these questions uh, yeah, will challenge you, of course, 
but again these were very very big questions and like there were very like few questions that were like two or three lines long and i was very happy when i saw them i was like finally a short question that i just have to like i can read it fast and answer it compared to other questions that were like this long and this is especially true for drug ads like step 2 introduces drug ads that are not there on step 1 and these drug ads are so big like they just give you a big article and you have to just go through that whole article like the research thing and then there are so many questions and these these tend to be really complex so what i did with drug ads especially is uh, with step 2 drug ads uh, whenever you go and Uh, do drug ads that block will uh, like when it, so not all blocks have drug ads only block only i think a few blocks have drug ads and whichever blocks have drug ads are only made of 38 questions they aren't made of 40 questions so keep track of that so they are kind of providing you more time for drug ads because they do take more time and what i did with my drug ads was the first drug ad question that i got I had 10 minutes for it so like uh, out of that I was able to solve it in 5 or 6 minutes and the second drug ad question was a bit more complex and I didn't have time I think I didn't have time and I, and I wanted to go through other questions just to make sure I had written uh, and just wanted to go through out my marked questions and the drug ad question like I kind of had to guess two. The so drug ads have three questions in them and you have to answer all three and I remember like the second drug ad question I kind of guessed too because I didn't have time to go through out all of that and I just answered one that I was certain of like and I know that I got that correct but yeah that's how it is so be very time efficient and keep drug ad questions for the end and make sure you manage your time pretty well because this exam like time is the most important resource you have and do not waste it on thinking about hey I did not know the answer to that hey I'm guessing so much just keep on nine hours of faith remember that complete faith and keep going on so that's a key takeaway the third thing i saw with step 2 is how many step 1 questions were there on step 2 like you wouldn't think that in a clinical exam like step 2 that you would see histology questions and you would you would see histology questions or you would see in like questions about physiology right but in my exam i got like at least four or five questions that had histo images in them and you had to identify the bacteria and answer that question and there were questions about enzymes regarding step 1 and there were questions about immunodeficiencies from step 1 so there's a lot of overlap that i saw between step 2 and step 1 and what i have found out is the nbme is kind of injecting step one content into step 2 because step 1 is going past fail so nbme has to make sure it gets like good the good stuff from step 1 into step 2 uh, so it can test people out but yeah so we are getting more of step 1 i think on step 2 and they're just increasing the step 1 questions like over and over again they're then increasing the step 1 and also one one thing that i saw was the overlap between step 1 and step 2 is if you know step 1 step 2 just becomes a uh, but it becomes so easy if you don't know step 1 that well step 2 is pretty tough so make sure you know your step 1 pretty well it doesn't ma- matter if, even if it goes pass fail because step 1 you can't get the resources you got for step 1 for step 2 and it would be idiotic for you to study step 1 during your step 2 prep because then you are missing out on the clinical part of step 2 so make sure you just make good use of your time when you preparing for step 1 make sure you use bnb first aid you know sketchy all the good resources i'll leave a link up here like you can just click it and you can see the resources that i use for step 1 and i think these are incredible so the fourth thing i want to talk about is ethics and really i did all of you world and to be to be honest none of that was that much helpful on step 2 because a lot of ethics questions came from i think a few were a few few were but so many of ethics came from like out of the blue and i had never seen that concept anywhere so be prepared to be not prepared for those ethics questions and just make sure you can guess through them and uh, one thing you can do is for ethics and patient care questions you can check out divine intervention podcast i'll leave the link down uh, 
and this guy is amazing because of him i got about i think four or five questions correct that i did wouldn't have if i hadn't listened to him his podcasts are incredible i have listened to each and every one of them and he if you're an img this guy kind of gives you a look into the us system and he is amazing he has podcasts on his website and on youtube so you can check him out he's absolutely amazing that brings out me to like now the patient care questions patient care questions are so new and like something that that's coming up like home health care and uh hospice care like these things are increasing on step 2 and i saw a lot of them so be prepared to see that and there are certainly a few out of the blue questions that come out of that and so be prepared to guess about that just like ethics so yeah that sums it all up step 2 ck is a pretty tough exam and be prepared for it and don't think that you know you can just study bit for it because it's getting tougher and tougher i, I think even you world is increasing questions one more important point that i just wanted to bring across is the cms forms guys like a lot of people don't know about how important the cms forms are and i got tons of questions on the cms forms i think i got 10 to 15 questions out directly like out of cms forms and like a few of them weren't direct but they were how how are they were they were the concept was pretty related and because of that i got those questions correct so make sure you focus on cms forms because cms forms are awesome and they teach you so much regarding uh, medicine and for step 2 ck so do cms forms especially the latest ones not the old one the old ones are good good but the latest ones the 5 and the 6 ones like the old ones are 1 to 4 the newer ones are 5 to 6 make sure you cover those because they are absolutely important to do one more thing i would like to focus more on is how important u world is because u world covers about everything for step 2 ck and if you just do u world you would be actually be 85% prepared for this exam the rest 15% is you need uh, to w- do divine intervention podcast maybe add amboss to it okay and do cms forms do all the nbmes that exists for this do uwss and i think that will prepare you no need to do other resources i i don't think they're worth the time you might even add anki like there are good anki decks right now my favorite one was tazanki which is a combination of amboss and uwl so just that's all you need for step 2 ck don't worry about more resources and um, i think that's all you need online meded is a great video resource but in my opinion it takes a lot of time and it's too basic and the it wouldn't help you as much as like doubling down on u world and amboss like question banks question banks and doing as many as questions you can that is more important than watching a video series so i kind of skipped it i watched it about 1 by 4 i watched 1 by 4th of it for step 2 ck and i was like i can't uh, do this because i have i have to allot this time and make better use of it by doing u world more and that's what i did and that that was awesome another thing that i found out was about everybody who writes step 2 comes out disappointed so it's okay to be a bit disappointed i was pretty disappointed i felt horrible after giving step 2 ck and i was like i don't know what am i uh, what am i going to do i was at, actually depressed <laughs> for four days and then i was like no i'm going to film a video right now i wanted to film a video exactly like at march 13th but i'm filming at march 6 march 16 because i was depressed until now but it's okay to be depressed everybody even people who score great are depressed after this exam i've read a lot of reddit threads and talked to a lot of people who scored great on this exam it's okay to be depressed after it so don't worry about that it just live with the depression for a while and then come out of it So guys all the best for step 2 CK no worries have fun and study well So guys don't forget to like subscribe and share this video it helps a ton